and we are testing my new microphone uh, while also testing a new game. This is Refunct. And I played around with this a little bit this morning, the, the game, not the microphone. It is fascinating. Just jump around, press a red button. So simple. So fantastic. Look at that. Jump. Jump. Oh. I think I have my volume on. Hmm. Yep. I was hearing myself. That freaked me out a little. Whoop. Also swim. Swimmy, swimmy, swimmy. I do like the swimming mechanic. It's very simple. It's very intuitive. Everything about this game is simple and intuitive. The bigger question, though, of course, is how I sound. So I'm hoping that this microphone sounds better than my old microphone. Which I have completely shut off just to make certain. Uh, this is a blue ice microphone. I think it's a small bit of an upgrade. Uh, because we've been having some technical issues here on APG lately. Bloop. Uh, and that's a problema. You don't want technical problems on your, uh, Twitch channel or your YouTube channel or any channel, really. Those channels require technology. So technical problemas are not what you want. Although, I will admit that there is something just incredibly fun with this game of the running and the jumping. It's just a great platformer for three bucks. Now, it is a very non-violent platformer. Just creepy music and pretty graphics. That's all you get. go. Uh, there it is. There's also these little cubes you can collect. I'll try my best to get all of them. Uh, this was... I'm not going to say suggested, because she honestly didn't suggest it to me, but uh, I am... the name drop here. I'm friends with the gals who run Escher Girls on... Uh, she runs on Tumblr. I'm friends with her on Steam. So... I see when she gets a new game, and she has exquisite taste sometimes. And it's one of those weird things where I look at people I know and just see the creative, fun things they're doing and think, well, damn, what's my excuse? So close. Right before we hit the top, and yes, I was trying to get that block all morning, and I finally got it. I'm so happy now. Now that I have it in my possession. Uh, and yes, I want to say that part of the game is just make all the blocks grass. Revive the land. And it, it does kind of have that feel to it. It's like, here, you, this is the percentage of things you collected and touched. And as somebody who can't stop touching things, it is fun to know this is a game where that is not only allowed, it is encouraged. We Whoa. There we are. Uh, <clears throat> also, uh, trying to do a bit more of my old announcery voice. I know that's silly, but I do find it works a different part of my mouth than normal speech does. Uh, it gives me a bit more of a natural... Well, I shouldn't say a natural feel, because I'm literally acting. Um... It does give me that feel that I am doing something, rather. Uh, and that's something I've been struggling with these last couple months, especially the last few days, is feeling like I'm not doing anything. It's like, how dare I try to say that this is work, uh, playing video games and editing videos and sitting around. A lot of sitting. 
so I'm trying to come up with ways to alleviate that feeling. Yeah. One way is more streaming. I mean, we have, don't have a dedicated stream yet. What I mean by a dedicated stream... Well, we have the Patreon stream. But a dedicated stream, when I say it, is a stream that this is when it happens every week, part of the job, that's what happens. And we don't quite have one of those. We have the Patreon stream, which is the closest we have to that. Uh, once a month, we do what you guys vote on. And then we have the whenever I damn well please streams like this one. Um, but we don't have a dedicated stream, and I think part of that is, in order to do a dedicated stream, you have to be streaming professionally. Uh, that's just how it is. But, I, I do think I need to start doing that more, just so that this feels more like a real job, and not like dicking around with my friends, because I would love for this to be my real job, playing video games, telling you guys what I think about them, not what you should think about them. You are welcome to have your own opinions. That's part of life. That's part of this country, America. If you're not in America, I hope it's part of your country too, because it's a good thing. Sometimes it involves jumping over the side of a cliff and getting lost. That part's not true. I'm projecting a little. But the point stands. I it, it baffles me that I have a degree, basically, in telling people my opinion. I have an English degree. It is a degree purely of telling people things in English through text or writing. Wait, no, those are the same thing. Through text or speech. And yet, for some reason, when I actually do those things, I don't feel like I'm working. I went to school for six years to learn how to make media. And th this is not the most intrinsic media, but this is media. This, this is my way of trying to use what little I learned uh, professionally. I'm trying to get out of the doldrums of modern life which is a problem I have a lot of those doldrums doldrums suck they're very dull they don't even come with real drums how dare they it, it's all very confusing but yeah so I, I realize I'm not a man of many talents I most of my talents are talking to people writing things down and playing video games those are not the most useful talents in the world. But they are mine. And I think that's the big difference here. Is that those are 100% my talents. Talking to people, playing video games, and such. I also realize, I just realized that I cannot see the chat. There's nobody in the chat, so it doesn't matter. You're all going to watch this in the future. With your strange future vision. That's how this works. Strange future people with your giant foreheads and hover cars. How did you figure out the whole people crashing into each other all the goddamn time problem? That's the pr problem we have with land cars. People crash into each other all the goddamn time. Actually, that's another problem we have in the present future people. Religion. How do you deal with people arguing about it? I hate the arguments more than anything. But no, um... All seriousness. Just messing around trying to test out this microphone. And also play some Rethunked. Because uh, I think we deserve to finish a game on Twitch. I mean, do a lot of Overwatch here on Twitch, but... That's not a game that gets finished. So... At this point, the mission is play a game that is finishable. Here we are. We are finishing Refunct today during a mic check. Three dollars, so I'm not like that torn up over that. There will be no concrete left when I am done. That is the mission. Everything must be green and have color. Ah, ooh. 
Oh, that was confusing. There we go. Music's getting louder. Oh, geez. I, I believe the music's getting louder because I'm almost to the end. Very cute game, by the way. If you have a computer that can handle it, hopefully you do, otherwise Twitch must be a nightmare for you. Well, I guess unless you're watching this on your phone. If you're not watching this on your phone, and you have a computer that can handle this, pick this up. It's $3 standard price. Like, seriously. Three bucks. Uh, now, before I get that chunk of the island, I want to look around and make sure I have forgotten nothing. I'm going to use this to get to the top of the tallest peak I can find. Uh, do you see any concrete? I don't see any concrete. Let's see some gray pipes. Okay. Whee! I do love this because it gives you a little bit of a Batmanish feeling jumping from rooftop to rooftop or uh, maybe Disney's gargoyles. Like, those are both fun things to feel. Feel like you're Goliath or Batman. Ooh, now this one's going to be hard. And whoop. I mean, that's kind of always the point of a game, isn't it? To feel like you're escaping. Escapism is in our blood. It's important to feel like you can escape sometimes. Whoop. Whoop. There we go. And there. And there. Oh, nice jumpy pads. Whee! And I fell. Thankfully, there is no fall damage. Now, I will admit, I played this to 88% this morning. I'm trying to get 100. I'm trying to get a hundo. Because then, you can truly count this game as complete. One hundo red percent. Uh, and that's kind of the fun part with games, isn't it? Being a completionist on occasion. Especially with easier games. Maybe that's just me, but I do like my games easy. I'm not a super hard, hardcore gamer. I am really just here to get points and say funny things. Maybe sometimes just blather on and on and on and on and on and hope somebody's listening. Go. I want to say I'm on the second to last button. Not a hundred percent on that, but I know I'm very close to the end. I know the music has this like slightly Minecraft-esque feel to it. Just this very minorly mysterious wibbly noise, and I, I don't really think that's a good way to explain it at all. But that's what it is. It feels a bit like the ambient music in Minecraft. Yep. Man, I wish I was better at doing Twitch. Or YouTube. Or any of those things. Really gotta brush up on my skills. Ah! Whoop! Damn it. I wish I was better at Refunct. It's terrible at games. The worst gamer. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Ooh. There we go. And far. Whoop. Whoop. Now, if I could just get a. Oh, there's a wall jump corner right here. So much easier. Why was I not wall jumping earlier? That is so much, so much easier than doing the whole go back to the platform thing. I gotta do it from that side, because otherwise it won't let me jump, which that's dumb. I mean, I guess it's a bit more realistic, but I also fell 50 feet without breaking my legs. 
so I don't think realism was very high on this game's to-do list. Dang it, that one on here. And whoop. And whoop. Whoop. Damn it. Thankfully, those buttons are not on a timer. This is meant to be a relaxing game. You know what? This is what I wish Mirror's Edge was like. This feels like, if somebody said I'm playing parkour the game, I mean, mind you, I, I don't want Mirror's Edge to be this simplistic. I am very fond of the city type stuff in Mirror's Edge, and I would like more of that, but I don't know. I think this is what a parkour game could be like. We get a lot of games on parkour recently. Uh, the Assassin's Creed games, mostly. Just got most of those because they had a you play thing uh, on Humble Bundle. I'm torn on that because, like, on the one hand, it's Assassin's Creed. On the other hand, it's Assassin's Creed. I'm not the biggest Assassin's Creed fan. Like, I think number four is kind of cool, but number four didn't come with the bundle. Kind of tempted to, like, check out. I think Toys R Us.com has. Black Flag on PS3 for eight bucks. Really tempted to nab that too. Oh, there it is. I want to say that's the last island. Really hoping we have a hundred percent. No idea. Really hoping though. Yeah, yellow's the last button. We're almost there. Hmm. I think I gotta use one of these thingies. No, I gotta use that thing. There we go. I kind of wish the final platform was on, like, the tallest one. I mean, I can see why it's not. But it does seem like that's the level of escalation you should get. Did we get 100? Did we get 100? 100 was the goal. It says thank you. We're being thanked. It's a heart. Which is clever. But I do not know if we got a hundo. You got a hundo? What the? Don't know. What's going on? 99? What did I miss? I missed something. There is one thing missing. But what is it? How do I get a hundred? There's the missing piece. There is a single plot of concrete around here or something. Around here? Nope. Let's see. I don't see anything from over here. a hundred. Oh, well, there's fireworks when you get complete. That's spiffy. Yeah. We got fireworks. Great job, everybody. Oh! Holy shit, there are people here. As I mentioned earlier, I couldn't tell. And yeah, the, uh, the audio does get louder and louder in that game as you progress. I would like to point out every time I've looked at that Twitch chat there was nobody and now there's a thousand of you. Uh and actually that's the thing, the audio was at negative thirty. 
It was a little sad. Ah. Well, now I see you guys. So, yeah. We did it. We did the thing. Hmm. Oh, my God. Now, part of that is... You know what? Let me crank up the micro... I can't crank up the microphone anymore. The microphone is as high as it goes. Holy crap. All right. We're just going to have to do it this way. Uh, you know what? I have an extra half hour to burn. Okay, first off, who the heck are you, cheese lover? Cheese lover? Who are you? You're not subbed. You're following. You should be following. Make you better. Make you happy inside. Um, we're at the end of a test stream, but I got a half hour to burn, so... Should I have to put on another cheapy game? Something silly. Something fun. <gasps> Do all the buttons make fireworks? Oh, that's fantastic. Seriously, guys, it's three bucks. You can pick it up for yourself. It is awesome. Look how beautiful it is underwater, even. I wonder, though, how far can I go? Probably not very far. Probably going to get, like, to the foot of one of those. And it's going to yell at me. Oh, God. I started into the sun. That was not a good idea. Yeah, this was uh, the mic test. I'm serious. We have Wyvarian. We have MFU. There's, there was a guy called Cheese Lover in here earlier. You guys want me to do something else? I got Pretty Girls Panic. You can do that for a bit. Who's up for that? Refunct. Not defunct. This is refunct. Eh, we'll do another one. Let's do another stream. I'll be back in like five minutes as I set up.